everyone and welcome to this creative workshop and today we're going to be looking at the amazing auto reframe tool in Adobe Premiere. Now this is perfect for if you're making work for social media and it's so quick and easy that you can be able to just adjust your client work for any sort of social platform in no time at all. Now if you want to do this tutorial along with me I've got this skater footage here and you can download it from my Google Drive link underneath this video or ideally I would prefer if you downloaded it from the original source pexels.com and this video here and I'll put a link to that one underneath as well so you support the actual creator of that footage. Now you can see this footage is already cut together in one sequence but for the purposes of this exercise it doesn't matter that could have cuts in it it doesn't matter at all. What Auto Reframe is going to do is it's going to adjust it to the new sequence size for our social media output. So it's very easy. I've got my sequence here and all I do is go up to Sequence and Auto Reframe Sequence. And from here I get the Auto Reframe Sequence options and the sequence name. So I've got it already selected and I can choose the Target Aspect Ratio. And if you don't see the one here that you want, you can press Custom. And underneath it we have motion tracking and this is to track whether you want slower objects or fast objects generally default is totally fine if something's moving very fast um, like there's some fast sport going on or something you may want to try faster motion out just to make sure it snaps on using the ai to the action that's actually happening and finally underneath you get clip nesting now this is to do when your sequence has lots of different edits and lots of different effects it can nest the clips and then try and apply the auto reframe tool but if it does do that any effects or transitions will be wiped and basically you just leave it on the top setting here don't nest clips so I'm going to go for a square aspect ratio here and I'm going to click create and there we are it's done it already now if we watch this clip through on the original timeline You'll notice that the skater goes up across it slightly to the right here and down on the far right hand side now on this clip here it snapped it to the middle here and here but interestingly at the end it doesn't quite pick out the motion it was just a little bit too fast now if it does that there's a very simple way of correcting it as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the effects control and over here you can see now I have the auto reframe tool now it looks like nothing's going on here but there is actually quite a lot we can now go to overwrite generated path you can see all the keyframes that have been added to keep the subject in the center of the frame now these last few you can see it's kind of pulling it back and it thinks the action slightly on the left hand side very easy what I can do now is I can simply adjust this keyframe here so I'm going to zoom in make sure that you're selected on the keyframe. It's very easy to select different keyframes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the subject back into view as much as possible. And it's done. Now these last two keyframes will pull it back out again. So I'm just going to delete those two keyframes there. And let's have a look at our new social media video. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to do it again to another video, all I do is I select the original sequence here. And let's do it to a different size. So I'm going to go to Sequence, Auto Reframe Sequence. And this time, time I'm going to choose a 9 by 16. And I'm going to go Create. And here we go again. So it's done it differently this time. Excellent. But again, that last one's out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite generated path. And this time I would like it to start here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my own keyframe this time. Now auto keyframe just by changing the value and add it to the middle there and delete the two keyframes afterwards. And now I have a perfect sequence. 
and that's it. Interestingly though, um, when trying this on a different PC, it actually generated a few different keyframes at the end. So yours might not look exactly the same as mine. However, it's very easy to correct. So that's the auto keyframe tool. I hope you liked the video. And remember to support the channel. Thank you.